Bangladesh 2.0 don't want to go back to the old style, says Dr. Yunus. RMG unrest disrupts the traffic on highway, advisor warns stern action against rumours. Section 144 imposed in Khagrachori after clashes over teachers' lynching. Assalamu alaikum, this is Nusat Islam welcoming you all to the evening news. You have just had the Crown Cement headlines. Now let's move on to the details. Chief Advisor Dr. Mohamed Yunus said and now is the greatest opportunity that Bangladesh has ever had for a change and that a new society has to be built. Yunus told U.S. public broadcaster NPR that the people do not want to get to Bangladesh 2.0 without fixing everything. People are throwing out these numbers, how many months, mm -hmm. how many years, as they feel needed. Some say, oh, it should be done quickly, because if you go longer and longer, you'll be so unpopular, everything will be messed up. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do it first. Some say, no, you have to finish that reform. Mm -hmm. So you stay this long period, mm -hmm. because we don't want to get back to uh, uh, Bangladesh 2.0 uh, without uh, fixing everything. So this is the debate going on. Yeah. We don't want to go back to the old style. Then what is the meaning of giving all these lives? Mm. It has no meaning. Because everything that we did, we destroyed everything. Mm. So we have to begin to build a new one. I always gave um, uh, importance to the youth because they are the one who will be building the future. Their imagination, their dreams will materialize. And they should be in the leadership position anyway. Chief of Army Staff General Wakaru Zaman today paid a courtesy call on Chief Advisor Professor Mohammad Yunus. General Wakaru Zaman called on Dr. Yunus at the State Guest House, Jomuna today, said CS Press Wing. Palestine Ambassador to Dhaka Youssef Ramadan has paid a courtesy call on Chief Advisor Dr. Mohammed Yunus. Issues of mutual interest, global support for the state of Palestine, the genocide in Gaza and tension in the Middle East were discussed in the meeting. Ramadan expressed his appreciation for Dr. Yunus's speech to the UNGA, saying it was a timely and shed a much-needed spotlight on the Palestinian issue. Yunus expressed Bangladesh's continued support for Palestine and its people. Workers from a garment factory in Gajipur took to the Dhaka Maman Singh Highway protesting for unpaid wages. The demonstration, which lasted for over two hours, severely disrupted traffic on the busy highway. Law enforcement agencies are currently working to control the situation. The workers of APL Apparels demanding a three months unpaid wages eventually moved their demonstration to the highway. Workers of Birds Group are continuing their demonstration blocking Nobinagur Chandra Highway for the second consecutive day today, causing a 15 kilometer traffic jam on the road. Advisor Asif Mahmood Shoji Bhuya has issued a stern action against instigators who are spreading rumors to create unrest in RMG sector. বাহিনী একজনকে রেপ করেছে এবং দুজনকে খুন করে ডেড বডি ফেলে রেখেছে এই ধরনের একটা গুজব ছড়ানো হয়েছিল সেই গুজবের ভিত্তিতে কারখানাগুলো থেকে শ্রমিকদেরকে নামিয়ে আনা হয়েছিল প্রথম গুলিটা শ্রমিকদের ভেতরে থেকে দুষ্কৃতিকারীরা ছড়েছিল এবং সেখান থেকেই মূলত গোলাগুলির সূত্রপাত হয় এবং সেখানে দুঃখজনকভাবে একজন আমাদের একজন শ্রমিক নিহত হন ইতিমধ্যেই তাদেরকে শনাক্ত করা হয়েছে এবং the Khagrachuri District Administration imposed Section 144 of the CRPC in Khagrachuri after a clash between two groups following the lynching of a teacher. The order, put in force at 3 p.m., will remain effective until further notice. The 45 years old teacher, Sohel Rana, was killed by an angry mob of students at Khagrachuri Government Technical School and College at about 1 p.m after allegations of rape of a student surfaced. Khagrachuru UNO said Shujan Chandra Roy said he 
along with the additional superintendent of police and some journalists were injured when they were trying to calm the enraged students. Violence erupted between two groups after news of Sohel's death spread on social media, leading to the imposition of ban on public gatherings. Tension is underway there. Notably, violence erupted in Kagrachuri's Noapara area on 18 September after one Muhammad Mamun was lynched on suspicion of theft. As the conflict spread, clashes the next day led to the deaths of three people in Kagrachuri and one in Rangamati. The Chattogram Electoral Tribunal has declared BNP candidate Dr. Shadat Hussain as the mayor of the Chattogram city three and a half years after the election was held. The tribunal announced the verdict today. The BNP leader Shahadat filed the case with the Electoral Tribunal complaining of vote rigging and seeking the cancellation of the election result. Seeking the cancellation of the election result. In the verdict, the court ordered the election commission secretary to publish a gazette in 10 days and appoint Shadat as the mayor. Meanwhile, the interim government had already removed the former Chattogram city mayor Reza al Korim from the post, appointed administrator instead of the mayor. <laughs> The Securities and Exchange Commission has fined 17 investors of Bexim Coarep Court of Taka 428 crore for manipulating the company's share prices. This is the first time a company's investors have been fined such a high amount in the capital's market's history. The commission fined the investors in its 924th meeting today. Meanwhile, a chamber court of the Apollo Division has upheld the High Court's order of appointing a receiver to maintain all assets of the Beximco Group. At the same time, the court has fixed 28 October as the date for hearing by the full bench of the Appellate Division in this regard. Advisor Saida Rizwana Hassan said a phased approach will be taken to address the persistent issue of noise pollution caused by honking. Speaking at, the, at an event at the Civil Aviation Authority headquarters in Dhaka, she emphasized that public awareness will be the first step, followed by strict enforcement of laws. The three-kilometer area around Hazar Shah Jalal International Airport was declared a silent zone at the event to make the area horn-free. The United States has assured Bangladesh of making investments in the fisheries and livestock sectors. The U.S. is interested in helping develop Bangladesh's fisheries and livestock sectors and invest there, said U.S. Charge D.F.R. Helen as she met advisor Farid Akhtar at her secretariat office. During the meeting, the advisor said Bangladesh wants to exploit the vast experience of the U.S. in extracting the marine fisheries resources. The two countries also agreed to work together on the mutual bilateral issues. Before ending, let's have a look on the Crown Cement headlines once again. Want Bangladesh 2.0? Don't want to go back to the old style, says Dr. Yunus. RMG unrest disrupts the traffic on highway advisor warns stun action against rumors. Section 144 imposed in Kagrachori after clashes over teachers lynching. And that's all from the newsroom for now. To know updates, videos of this bulletin, visit our website www.ntvbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verified Facebook page for updates over NTV's our popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin, Shondar Khabur, will be aired in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time.